Hey guys, welcome back to Savvy Charmed Life. If you're back here again and a recurring subscriber, thank you so much for being here. You mean the world to me. And if you are new here, hi, I'm Tracy. I'm so glad that you found my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me as well as a shop with me try on um in the dressing room we're gonna go to lily pulitzer i've been dying to go to lily pulitzer all summer and i'm finally getting there and torrid as well because i have some um torrid like cash to use so um definitely wanted to check out torrid i was looking at some things online um but thought maybe i would just go into the store it's kind of an overcast yucky day hopefully no rain um but yeah um and then later today i'm hoping to maybe go for a swim so basically just kind of come along with me today and we'll have some fun. Okay guys, so first we're going to get my makeup taken care of. wash my hair today yesterday I literally just let my hair air dry natural curl natural wave and then today I brushed it out and I sprayed in my not your mother's beach babe soft wave sea salt spray it has a tropical banana flavor um uh scent flavor <laughs> flavor is what you eat scent um so that's what I just like sprayed a little bit into my hair well really i sprayed it on my hands and then ran my hands through my hair um and yeah so it's definitely just like normal natural wave like with a tiny bit of texturizing spray to help it out a little okay so this summer my makeup has been uber simplistic so y'all know me i am very if you're like been here a while you'll know I kind of adjust just a little yeah okay if y'all have been here a while you know that I am just like super chill and laid back like um until I was like in my 20s probably like late 20s I didn't wear makeup like ever um this way um high school i didn't wear makeup at all college i didn't wear makeup at all um people often ask me like what my trick is for good skin and honestly it's probably well genes you know like you can't can't um argue dna sometimes um but then also um Um, and then also, I, like I said, I didn't wear makeup like the first like 25 years of my life. So I think that that probably also came into play. Um, but yeah, I didn't get much acne. I remember in middle school once I got this really bad like acne like breakout like around my mouth. But it was after I had like a really bad cold. And I think it like, there was like a reaction or something. And I remember my mom still bought the pictures. She's like, everything should be documented. I was like dying. I was so embarrassed. Okay, but I got in an Ipsy Glam bag, which I started re-getting recently, but now I've paused it again. Um, but this was like a sample that I got, and this is Perlis Perfect Glow BB Concealer. So I've been putting that like under my eyes as kind of like a base before I put on my regular concealer. And I've just been applying it with my finger. And then um, blending it in with, and I just use like a little, one of the little triangular sponges. And I'll use a fancy blue beauty blender. And I know I should probably use the kind that you like wash out and reuse because it's better for the environment, but I'm not, at least not right now. All right, and then for regular, I also don't use foundation, I just use concealer. So I just use the Tarte Shape Tape 
um, concealer. Um, it is a full coverage concealer and the color that I use pretty much year round is the 22N Light Neutral, so. Just put it under my eyes. If I have dark circles under my eyes, I always have. I think it may just be because of like how pale my skin is that you just see like, I'd have to like, if you're like a science person and you know, like is it because like you just can see like the blood vessels or does it have something to do with like, like is it genetics? Like, cause like I said, it has nothing to do with like how rested I am. Like I don't get puffy. It's just really always been dark under my eyes. So I usually just put it like, I always have little red spots around my nose, like right here in the little crevice, it's always a little red. And then I usually try to put it on my like T-zone. Um, and then if I have any zits, which fortunately for me is rare. And then I always go back in with my concealer under my eyes at least one to two more times. It kind of depends on how, how it looks. But yeah, so I just kind of blend it in as best I can. And I'll come back in with just a little dot. I guess I don't know if it's just because the, I know like the skin under your eyes is just like thinner, right? So is it just you can see the blood under your eyes? Like, what is it? Like, if you're a doctor or a science person or a makeup artist, let me know in the comment section. I need to Google that. Like, what causes dark circles? Because, like I said, they've always been there, even when I was, like, a little girl. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with age or fatigue or anything like that. I drink tons of water, like... When we were kids, all we drank was water because we had a well and we lived out in the country. So, um, I've always been, like, I love water. Like, I'm not one of those people that has to, like, make water flavored to drink it. Like, I genuinely love water. I am a picky water drinker that, like, me and my sister both, like, I hate spring water. Like, I hate Deer Park water. Anytime it says spring on it, like, it always has a funny taste to me. And as long as it's just, like, purified water, um, or just, like, usually water from the tap. Sometimes tap water tastes funny to me, but, um, if it's purified water from the tap or it's, like, filtered water from the tap, then that's fine. And then, of course, like I said, I had well water growing up, and well water always tastes like the best of all water to me. Um, but yeah, um, but I always hate spring water. I don't know. I don't know why, um, but I genuinely love water. So it has nothing to do with being dehydrated, like, because I drink lots and lots of water. So I'm very really curious, like, what causes? Is it just because I'm so pale? Like, what causes the dark circles? Okay, so right now, I'm just using a big fluffy brush to, like, blend everything in with my, um, another Tarte project, product, um, the Smooth Operator, and I used to use the Loose Powder of Smooth Operator, but they stopped making it, so I bought a couple of the just, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what is this called? Um, pressed. So it's the pressed finishing powder, but it is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay finishing powder. It's just the pressed one instead of the loose powder. Cause like I said, I used to get the loose, um, but I haven't for a long time. And then for my blush, I'm just using Ulta Beauty Mineral Blush. And this color is Sweet Pea. Just putting it on my cheekbones. light blush and then for um highlighter another Ulta Beauty one this is highlighter illuminator and it's in the color iridescent just 
um, as far as like, and as far as like, and then I'm putting it just above my cheekbones, and then I put it on my chin, above each of my eyebrows, and then I take my finger and put it on the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and the bow of my lip. Um, as y'all know, like I said, um, the only things that I like, like I'm picky about like what I spend my money on is my, like I said, the Shape Tape Concealer, my finishing powder. Um, those are both Tarte brand, but they do last me a long time. And then the other thing I spend a little extra on is my mascara, which is Benefit Bad Gal Bang is my favorite. For eyeshadow, I always keep it super simple. Um, I'm putting on a base layer with another Ulta Beauty um, thing, and this is cream eyeshadow and liner. I'm not sure to say what color it is. This one's called Naked Truth. I'm gonna layer it with some green eyeshadow to kind of go with my outfit today. And I think I have what you call hooded eyes. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of put it on the base layer, like the, you know, the bottom of my eyelid, and then I kind of rub it into my crease as well. I am not, I have given this disclaimer before, I am not a beauty blogger or blogger. I am not a makeup artist. I am not an expert when it comes to makeup in any way. So don't take anything that I do as like the way you're supposed to do it. I have learned a few of the things that I do from watching beauty vloggers or vloggers, but um, for the most part, like I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just figuring it out as I go, like most people. Um, and for my eyeshadow today, another Ulta Beauty <laughs> item, and this is the green called Under the Sea. All of my makeup brushes are usually freebies that I got in a glam bag, but I did get, and I don't really know what brand they are, but these brushes that I have right now, I did get at Ulta. Um, and the brand is RT. I got like a, like a variety pack, like I had a bunch of brushes in it because I needed new ones. Like I cleaned my old ones to the point where they were just like nasty. Like they were, they, they, they reached the end of their life. So I'm just kind of patting on this gray eyeshadow. I used to try to do like, like legit eyeshadow. I got watched the videos on how to do it. You know, like, like doing like the blending and all that sort of thing. But COVID kind of killed that for me. I went back to just easy peasy. I don't curl my lashes. I don't use falsies. I just put a small layer on my lower lash line. Hopefully y'all can see that. I got a little bit of my hair. I'm trying to get that out. And then I do like about three layers and I just kind of build it on my upper lash line. And then the third time, I like let it dry a little bit and then I just go over like the tips of it. But I have to use um, mascara because my eyelashes are literally blonde and are non-existent, like you can't see them without mascara. So I'm just gonna go over the tips just a little bit the very few ends of my lashes. Actually, but today it came out pretty good. Sometimes I have to like go back with like a Q-tip and kind of like pull apart like the clumps a little, but today it actually came out really nice. And then still, even to this day, my lipstick of choice is just chapstick. So we're gonna be using chapstick today. Um, 
I do have this one color that sometimes I'll use and it's Bare Minerals, but it was like another freebie. Um, but it just like has a little bit of color and gloss. I've tried lipstick before, but for the most part, like I just stick to like the basics. So if I want a little bit of color, I'll use something like that. Like a little bit of gloss with like just a tiny tint of color. But now let me show you really quick my outfit of the day. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. So I am wearing a pair of my Abercrombie and Fitch linen shorts, wearing them as you know, very high-waisted. And this is a top that you saw in my Shein haul. Um, and like, I think I talked to you guys about like the bonuses of like having like coordinating pieces. So there's a matching skirt that goes with this, but like I said, like you could easily take like this pair of shorts and the blue pair of shorts and then take my white crop, this top, and like you know, a couple other tops that would like work with it. And then you just like mix and match pieces and like you've got multiple outfits. Take the skirt and you got a basically a dress, you know? Um, so yeah, basically you could like mix and match and easily pack for like, in a carry-on for like a longer trip so um but yeah so i have this top which is from shein which i think is absolutely adorable it's got the puff sleeves and the smocking all the way around and i think it goes really well with both of these green shorts and the blue i think it goes a little bit better with the blue but the blue are like crazy wrinkled right now so i'm wearing the green <laughs> um and then for jewelry i just have oops i meant to put on my uh actual like engagement ring wedding band um switch that out <laughs> and then i'm wearing this just little flower ring i have no idea where i got it probably at like a claire's or a charming charlie's or something years ago and then for earrings i'm wearing these little drop earrings with this little like i think i got these on shein actually they have these little white flowers dangling from them i think they're so cute um and yeah and for shoes I'm just wearing, these are my cork sandals that I got at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. So, yeah, so this is my outfit of the day. Okay guys, so we are on the road.
open both my eyes. All I see are the pastel colored skies. I guess there never was a night. It seems that it was nothing but a summer dream. I fell asleep under the sunshine beams. Then again, there's always the night. July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. I read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away. Need to beat the sleepy sweet heat, my friends call it all like to meet it. So you see, and I need a grease, it's a dinner under the olive trees. Okay, so I'm sitting in the parking lot at the mall about to go into Torrid. I'm going to try my best to film as much as I can, but FYI, I am at 16% battery, so I can't make any promises. I'll try to get you as much footage as possible, and then if, of course, I buy anything, I'll do, like, a haul of what I buy. So, just FYI. July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. I read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away. Need to beat the sleepy sweet heat, my friends call it all like to meet it. So you see, and I need a grease, it's a dinner under the olive.
definitely too tight. This is a zero. I didn't see any ones or twos. I'm gonna keep this on to try on the cardigans. This one's supposed to be baggy or not. But look at this. I think this part is supposed to be a little bit like that. It just feels a little too much, like even in the arm. It just feels too big. Definitely needs size down in this one to a zero. So I am leaving the mall. Um, I just made it. My phone, my camera battery is at 4% now. So, um, I just made it. Um, and I got to film everything that I tried on. Um, I didn't end up using all of my tour cash. I had $125 of tour cash. So I did spend all of it, um, and I'm not 100% I spent more than I meant to spend. I didn't want to spend as much as I did, which is often a problem <laughs> when you go shopping, um, but I don't plan on keeping all of it. I bought one of the cardigans I tried on, and then I ordered two more, one that's an online exclusive, exclusive and the other one that I'm just on the fence about. So when I do my tour haul, video y'all can help me decide whether which cardigan to keep or if I should keep two out of the three I'm not sure but I'm definitely not keeping all three cardigans um I got the black skirt the black top that kind of looks like a dress when you pair them together um what else did I get yeah I got the black skirt the black top the white cardigan and I think that's it and then I ordered two of the cardigans from online um that have to wait to come in and then I'll try it all on together and yeah I'm definitely keeping the black top and the black skirt I just haven't decided about the um the cardigans yet so I may be returning some of the cardigans um and only keeping one possibly two at the most but yeah so that's what I ended up getting um with my toward cash today um so um and I am planning on paying this off with Poshmark order money that has come through recently so I do have a Poshmark account and a Mercari account I don't use the Mercari as much anymore just because I don't like their like seller um I don't I feel like they don't support sellers quite as well on Mercari as they do on Poshmark, so I'm kind of sticking to Poshmark for now. Um, but I do have a lot of clothes of mine that are for sale on my Poshmark, so I will definitely link my Poshmark before below so you can go check out what I have for sale if you like my style of clothing and would like to check out some of my um, things that I'm reselling on Poshmark, so I'll definitely link that below. So now we are heading home. I'm tired. It's finally getting hot. And um, yeah, we might get first swim this afternoon. But other than that, um, we're kind of done for today. So maybe I'll show you a little bit of going to the pool. Um, but other than that, um, we'll be closing out soon. Hey guys, so once again, as expected, I forgot to do an outro for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this particular video, if you love um, try on hauls and shop with me's, Hit that thumbs up it would mean the world to me and then of course if you haven't yet then why haven't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'd love to welcome you to this savvy child life family i do lots of try on videos shop with me's lots of stationery related things planning related things some travel vlogs thrown in so if you'd like to hang out with me more then definitely hit that subscribe button okay guys so i can't wait to see you in my next video bye